it's raining outside but uh what we're gonna do here hopefully you guys can hear me i don't this rain's kind of loud on this garage here but i'm gonna rollerize the rear end with the rear tail housing bushing and what it's gonna do is it's a, it's an anti walkout bushing and it's supposed to go in like this like go in through and come all the way up but because I'm wanting to rollerize the rear, it will sit like this with an actual three-piece bearings. Uh, but I am also going to put red Loctite on the outside of this. There's four grooves here. So there's like this way and this way. And there's an oil passage here to lubricate this bushing. And then there's another hole right there to spray and lubricate the tail housing. This one's the more important hole that I need. So with this groove here, I'm gonna line it up and press it through to go through there. But I'm also gonna get a file and I'm gonna just file it just a little bit so that the oil will go through and shoot down through there. This this thing will stick low, below, below this part of the housing. And then in, because of that, this bearing, if this was on the inside, will sit like this, right on the outside of it. This is just a shim so that way I can get it evenly gapped there whenever I get the entire rear carrier assembly in there installed. But I'm going to go get this, uh, I'm just going to get a file and I'm going to file this away. I didn't show the part of me pushing this in. But I did, you can see it right there, I, I got my file and I chiseled out just enough for this valet to shoot oil right through here. There's no burrs or anything. And this is a brass bushing, I got it from my local trans shop down the road for like 20 bucks. You can get it on eBay for 15, even on Amazon you can get it for cheap. And I'll put up a link on there for that. Yeah, this came out real good. Again, in tight, I put Loctite all the way around the um, the bushing, and then I pressed it in with my special tool here, my driver, and it just fit right in there. And this came from Harbor Freight, but I should be able to get you guys a link to it through Amazon because I bet you they sell this this kit right here on Amazon. But now I got it in. I got I got this seal put in. I had to get a die grinder to get that the old one out because it was just a little piece of aluminum, like a little cup. When you put this in with red Loctite, you can see it's all over this. What I'm doing is I'm just cleaning it off so uh, nothing else gets red Loctited up <laughs> or doesn't want to move, which would not be a good thing. All right, see how the bushing is in there? It's just up above that ridge right there, right there. So this needle bearing sits right on the top of that. And then you can see that the black part of the bearing is not, it's not, um, sorry, this is the only way I can get light in here. Um, it's not protruding above the black part. So that way, when I put this uh, rear carrier assembly in there, it will, it'll sit in there and spin. So here's the front planetary hub uh, that I had to go and replace. And this is the new, or this is used, but in good condition here. Um, you can see it, there's no, there's a little bit of a line there, but there's nothing I can feel. Other than this one over here where I got all these little grooves inside here that I can feel. But this one is in real good shape compared to this crap. I don't know, this guy, I'm gonna assume the guy who kept just driving it, getting it going wherever he needed to go. Even though he knew reverse was going out, so. What you want to do is get the biggest hammer that you can possibly get.
right, now I'm gonna get the carrier assembly and put it in here. Thanks for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.